Hey kids, welcome to our video about the solar system. Today, we're going to take a trip through our corner of the galaxy and learn all about the different planets that orbit the sun. Are you ready to go on an adventure? First, let's talk about the sun. It's a big, bright star that sits in the middle of our solar system. It's the center of everything and it gives us light and warmth. Without the sun, we wouldn't be able to survive on Earth. Now, let's talk about the planets. The planets are big, round objects that orbit the sun. There are eight planets in our solar system, and they're all different from each other. The first planet is Mercury. It's the closest planet to the sun, and it's really small and rocky. Because it's so close to the sun, it's really hot during the day and really cold at night. The second planet is Venus. Venus is a little bit bigger than Mercury, and it's covered in thick clouds that make it really hot. In fact, it's the hottest planet in our solar system. The third planet is Earth. This is where we live. Earth is just the right distance from the sun, so it's not too hot or too cold. It has a lot of water and it's home to all kinds of living things like plants and animals. The fourth planet is Mars. Mars is the next planet after the Earth and it's a little bit smaller than Earth. It's covered in red dust and it's really dry. Scientists are still looking for signs of water or life on Mars. The fifth planet is Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. It's made mostly of gas and it has a big red spot on it that's a giant storm. The sixth planet is Saturn. Saturn is the second biggest planet in our solar system and it's famous for its rings. These rings are made of ice and rocks. The seventh planet is Uranus. Uranus is an interesting planet because it's tilted on its side. And it's also known for its blue-green color. The last planet is Neptune. Neptune is the third biggest planet in our solar system and it's also blue-green like Uranus. So, these are the eight planets of our solar system. Each one is unique and special in its own way. Scientists are still studying these planets and looking for signs of life on some of them, like Mars and Europa, Jupiter's moon, and Enceladus, Saturn's moon. Thank you for joining us on this trip through the solar system. I hope you've learned something new and interesting about the planets that orbit our sun. Don't forget to tune in next time for more fun and exciting space adventures.